day everyone, it's Cassidy from Smith RV, Casper, Wyoming. We're going to take a look at a 2022 Jayco J-Flight 183RB. So this has only been in the J-Flight family the last year or two. Uh, it's done pretty well for kind of those couples who don't want a very large coach. This one front to back is about 21 feet. Its dry weight is 3,400 pounds and grosses out with all of your water, all of your camping gear at 4,300 pounds. So very manageable uh, trailer. Uh, you can pull it by a crossover SUV, uh, mid-sized truck, a half ton vehicle, pretty easy. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this and show you all the options that this one has on it. So, we have standard stabilizer jacks. Those are a scissor stabilizer jack. We have a propane quick connect port there. So a great way if you want to bring a grill along with you uh, to, to cook up uh, the weekend's goodies, uh, that's going to be a good way to plug that in. However, you just got to make sure that your current grill does not have a propane regulator on it. Um, and providing it does not, that's going to work fantastic for you. All right, we have a power adjustable pitch on it with the nice LED light on there. And I love the fact that you do not need to have the awning out for that light to be present. Okay, so up top here, uh, we have two outside speakers. Uh, you can uh, Bluetooth your phone to the AM FM uh, player inside so you can play your music outside here, which is nice. We have a range vent that you can open and close. Our refrigerator uh, vent there, that's for a gas electric fridge. Our exhaust for the suburban furnace. And coming down below here, Jayco's always using uh, Goodyear Endurance tires on it. Um, that is nitrogen filled as well. And they also have this tire rated for 80 miles an hour, which we're not big advocates of people towing that fast. But the nice thing is, we know that the tire won't heat up at higher speeds, um, so the tire's gonna last you a lot longer than a lot of those tires made in China. So, uh, for the wheel well housing, coming around there, that's a very noteworthy, pun intended, uh, thing, is having a metal lined wheel well, wheel well housing. So, in the event you do have um, a flat tire going down the road or maybe hit something, that's going to be a lot more protected. It's not going to get up into the wood or dark oak paper. Uh, that's what's up under a lot of trailers. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. We have a 110 outlet there. Nice, uh, cute little um, assist handle. Uh, two two step entrance up there. Got a screen door. Put the little uh, cold beer pass through. Now this door, this is a friction hinge door, so that's not gonna whip real hard in the wind. Now, some days, the wind gets a hold of that, it might go. We've got some pretty good gusts around here. Um, we have tinted windows. You're not gonna see all metal-sided trailers with tinted windows in this. You may not think that's a big deal, but if it's 90, 100 degrees outside, you're gonna feel a big temperature difference inside the trailer that has tinted windows opposed to not. It's gonna keep a lot of heat out. I want to point out though real quick too, so between the entrance door lock, our compartment locks and everything on this trailer, all locks use the same key. That's what we call the key alike system. Uh, so you're not gonna have a big handful of keys uh, controlling all of the things on the trailer, be one key. So our outside storage, so this is actually pretty sizable storage that does go under the bed on the inside so you can access it uh, inside and out. These are sticking to magnetic catches which is nice. And this is set up with the observation prep system so you can do cameras on both sides of the trailer and the rear. So coming around to the front, we've got our, our metal that meets our diamond plates. So it's going to do a good job of protecting the, the bottom side of the trailer. We have a 20-pound propane tank. You know, the real upside about this is you can take these and exchange these at any gas station, you know, anywhere. Uh, so very quick, very easy to, to change these out. So coming around to Jayco's integrated A-frame, 
Uh, this is something of a bit of an upgrade opposed to some trailers uh, that are metal sided. You're going to see a stacked welded frame on most of those. It's not as strong, not going to last as long as the integrated A frame. And then they also do a nice little inset battery rack that will fit two 24 group deep cycle batteries. So, got a manual tongue jack on here. It is geared nicely, so I'm really not that strong, and it's uh, easy to turn up and down. So that's that's always good. All right, coming over to the utility side of the trailer, we have our fresh water fill, and that does go to a 20 gallon uh, fresh water tank. Got our drain down here for our fresh water tank. So this model does have a slide out on it to show you what's inside there. Coming around to the back, this does have a six gallon DSI suburban water heater. And when I say DSI, that stands for direct spark ignition. So you're gonna be starting this water heater on the inside of the trailer. You're not gonna be out here in the wind, in the cold with the lighter or anything like that. So that will run on a propane and 110. So we've got a city water connection, our cable hookup, our shore power cord there that plugs the trailer in. And this does come with the 25 foot power cord. And then down below here, we have our drain. So all nice and labeled gray, black. And then we have our, our handle poles that match gray, and black over there. And they also give you a little bit of a protector here for dragging. So you damage these items there. So back to our bumper of the trailer. Uh, this will also double as a sewer hose holder as well. And then coming around the back, have a matching uh, spare tire, and then our other observation uh, prep there. And this trailer does also have the Jayco Smart Lighting System on it, so when you turn the right signal on, that side of the trailer lights are going to come on the back and the side, and then the same on the left, just creating a lot more awareness of where you're looking to go. So this trailer also does have a roof-mounted uh, solar panel on top as well. And uh, I think that's about everything out here. Let's go inside and see what we have going on in here. All right, coming inside. So we do have a little separator here. It will uh, stretch all the way across if, if someone's wanting a little privacy up there. Also over here on this side of the trailer, we do have a GoPower uh, 30 amp controller that channels the power that's coming down from the 100 watt solar panel on the roof, charging those batteries on the front of the trailer. So one of the greatest features of this trailer, we do have a walk around queen bed in this thing. So it's gonna suit most people very well and very easy to get on and off. We do have individually adjust, adjustable on and off, that is lights for reading at night. And then on each side of the bed, we do have 110 outlets. So you can plug in, have power for what you need. And then kind of keep that light out. We do have blacked out nightshades with this as well. So, we do have some hanging space, a little storage up top here, but the um, bulk of the storage is yet to come. I'll show you guys that when we get back into the bathroom. So coming on over here, this does have a booth dinette in the slide out. So having a slide and a smaller trailer, I think is, is pretty desirable. So usually for years, it's always been kind of the bigger trailers had the slides. Thankfully, they have brought that down into the smaller trailers. So nice booth dinette that you could fit four people across. And if you're bringing kids, grandkids, we can make this thing into a bed. Let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so here's what our booth dinette looks like down in the bed position. Um, as always, I want to show you guys what this looks like with uh, with me on it. 
So I can't even really make this look good, guys. This is a smaller booth I net, but if your wife kicks you out of the main bed in this, you know what, this sure beats uh, being outside. You know, so that's, uh, that's the real upside there, I think. All right, let's keep checking this thing out. So we do have a 13.5 BTU air conditioner uh, in this thing. So in this small space, this thing is gonna totally freeze you out of this thing. So that's gonna do a great job. Got a little cabinet up top there. We got a standard RB microwave. Nice high rise, single action lever there on a high rise faucet. Got some storage down below. And then we do have a two burner cooktop. It's kind of nice to have the folding flat glass here. Kind of gives you a little more counter space being it is a little bit limited. So we flip that up. We're cooking away on two burners. And then I always like to point out these are removable as well. So you can take those out, make sure everything's nice and clean. And I kind of like the little LED accent lighting there. It just kind of gives it a little, little flare, I would say. All right, so Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Now this is a six cubic foot refrigerator. So that's gonna be a pretty good size. Sometimes you'll see maybe like a five cubic foot refrigerator being in these, so a little bit more. All right, back to the AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth capable uh, radio there. They'll control all the speakers inside here, outside, etc. So let's go in to a very nice bathroom for this size of trailer. So pretty standard uh, plastic commode, foot flush there, but we have counter space in here. We have a very good pull on that cabinet door. So we got storage down below. There is some plumbing in there, but there is a good amount of storage. And then we have a, a linen top and bottom here. And you could use that to stack clothes too. If you're really good at folding clothes and such, uh, that'd be a great place to put a lot of things. Over here on this side, a shower curtain and pretty standard, nothing too crazy in here. Decent size faucet with an on off there. So you can do the classic RV shower as it be. And then height wise, this is pretty good. So, so yeah, pretty good size bathroom in this. I think this is a really big uh, plus to this trailer. But guys, this was the 2022 J Flight 183 RB. Again, I'm Cassidy with Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. I always appreciate you guys watching. I love seeing the comments. I love hearing people talking about our videos. Please comment below, hit the like button, share with friends, and subscribe to see more videos like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.